You look at these unfolding buildings and, and you think they must be amazingly complex, but they're not. They're just hinging the building in such a way that it has two statuses. One is closed for transport, the other is open for use and it just vacillates between the two. There is no technology other than hinges and making sure that everything that goes up is counterbalanced by something that goes down. So machines, no. Simple intelligent design, yes. Well, the idea really was how much of an entire fully scaled building could you actually carry on the back of a lorry? And when we started exploring it, we, we concluded that um, you could carry a building up to, say, eight to ten times the size of, a, of the container that brought it. And if you could counterbalance them all, press the button, and this instant building that unfold before your eyes, but equally usefully uh, be able to close up again and go off to the next location. So it transforms the utility of buildings. The design of all of this is all about counterbalancing and if you get that bit right you need no power. It's just about levers that allow a direct powerless transition from one state, the open state, to the second state, the closed state. Well, as you can see from this linkage, everything that goes up is matched by something that goes down. So this, uh, this particular configuration, if weighted in the right way, can be completely powerless. So if I was to extend this arm through here and put a, and put a weight on, on the end of it, then just by pushing this arm down, I can open and close the unit. And by relieving the weight at that end, out it comes again. On the one hand, we have the unfolding buildings, but within the buildings, we have unfolding worktops, unfolding kitchens, unfolding bathrooms. One of the huge advantages uh, using this technology within an interior is that uh, transformation of the use of space is extremely easy. So um, it means a bedroom can become a living room or a living room can become a kitchen at the press of a button. And it means effectively the ability to use uh, a smaller amount of space for a broader range of purposes. The curse of all buildings in history has been redundancy and the only thing that's never been redundant is a tent. Nobody wants to live in a tent so this technology effectively has all the advantages of a tent um, and the advantages of a fixed uh, building in one go. This means that you don't have to over-design and over-plan for anything. You can actually respond to changing circumstances and change is the one guarantee in the future. This technology is equally relevant to the city of the future as it is to populating unused space. Um, the key thing with the city is that it's full of people with changing needs, changing environments, changing circumstances. So buildings can adapt to need, are going to be the drivers of the future.